everyone, Raw Dog Rory here, and it is day four of the Geek Food Challenge, and it is Earth Day. So today, I want to share with you some simple, all-natural cleaners that you can use around your house to help get the toxins out of your house. I mean, we're all working on cleaning and detoxifying our bodies, so while we're at it, we want to keep the toxins out of our home, so we're not constantly reintroducing themselves to us, and... Uh, so it's a lot simpler than you may think. So let's check it out. Some simple ways to clean your house using all natural stuff. And you do not have to spend a fortune. I see a lot of natural cleaning products out there that are quite a bit of money. And I'm all for supporting these companies that are making steps to um, use less toxic and non-toxic products to um, clean our houses with. And I'd wait for buying those over any of the other chemical laden crap that might be out there. So definitely support those companies, but here's some really cheap, simple, and highly effective things that you can use around your house. And to demonstrate <laughs> these uh, simple cleaners, we've let one of our sink basins get extra grungy so you can witness the cleaning power. And uh, the first natural cleaner that we're gonna use, there have been entire books written on this substance that most of us have in our house already, and that is baking soda. Baking soda has some unbelievable cleaning properties. It's very alkaline, and because it's alkaline, when it comes in contact with fats and oils, which are mainly acid-based, it has a reaction with them where it dissolves and binds them up, and it makes cleaning fats and oils and grease off of anything super easy. You used to clean, you know, you could clean your oven, your stovetop, greasy pots and pans, whatever you got. Baking soda will strip that stuff right off and allow it to be washed down the drain. So it's a good one for uh, any of your cooking projects or funky ovens. But we're gonna use some baking soda on a sponge here. It's a little mild plastic like scouring part there. And uh, check it out. We're just gonna do a little circle of sink here to show you the abrasive action that baking soda has. And it's a really mild abrasive, so you don't gotta worry about it really like destroying what you're cleaning. And look at how quickly, just that little bit of circular action with that sponge compared to the rest of the sink. Now that is outrageous. And uh, it's just baking soda. Baking soda is super duper cheap. I like to carry, have a jar of it or a little shaker container of it right next to the kitchen sink. I like to have a jar of it in the bathroom. We, we throw it in the toilet use a scrub brush, gets out of any of those nasty hard water stains and any other kind of stains that might be in there. <laughs> yes, I said that. And um, it's also great for cleaning the shower. If you got like soap scum build up on there, scrub the, it scrubs it right off. And, um, and uh, another thing, once you've done your baking soda treatment on there and used its abrasive action and its um, fat binding and washing away properties, then you could come through with vinegar and we have about 50 to 70% vinegar diluted with a little bit of filtered water. You can do straight vinegar, it's gonna be an intense smell, but if you like it, that's cool. And um, if you, the smell of vinegar isn't all that pleasing to you, you know, a lot of people say, I don't want my house smelling like salad. <laughs> you know, you can, you can uh, pimp it out a bit by adding some essential oils. And uh, you could add whatever essential oils you want. Um, you could do citrus, you can do floral scents. We're gonna put a little lavender in here. It's gonna make it smell really nice. And lavender also has some cleaning properties of its own, some germicidal properties that you could look up, really fascinating. Um, but like I said, you can use anything you want. You can do, you know, if you're doing your floors, you can put patchouli, you can put lemongrass, whatever smells you like. All natural, add them to vinegar and dilute it with some water and you can use it as a multi-purpose cleaner for uh, your countertops, your stove tops, uh, tiles. We like to use it in our, in our bathrooms to clean the sink ledges, to clean the toilet slit, lid, the rim, the, the floors, the shower. A cool thing you can do is take this, take this diluted or straight vinegar, your favorite essential oils, keep a bottle of it next to your shower. After you get out of the shower to avoid those hard water stains and avoid any kind of mold or fungi from growing in there, Take the bottle and just blast your whole shower interior with it and close it up and just let it set in there. And it'll do, it'll eventually it'll dry up. As it does though, it'll leave behind a, um, a, bleh, a vinegary residue that will 
help the um, soap scum pretty much just slough off if you want to come in there and wipe it down later or next time you get in the shower. It's a good way to keep your shower clean in between showers. A little in between shower freshener there. And uh, also, vinegar has a lot of germicidal and uh, fungicidal and anti um, anti mold properties. And uh, for in depth into that, for an in depth look into that, and links to the articles that talk about that um, on my blog, uh, rawdogrory.com, I have, I'm going to leave a link down below for the uh, extensive blog post I've written on the cleaning powers of this. So what we're going to do, this isn't, you're not going to see much of like an uber abrasive quality from this, but we're just going to spray that after we do our baking soda in there. We're just going to wipe it down with the vinegar. And wow, see even just the vinegar without baking soda has quite a bit of a cleaning power on its own. But what we, the best thing about it is it's helping to inhibit um, any kind of mold or bacteria or fungi. So it's a good alternative to um, say a chemical detergent like you know bleach or any any uh, germ killing things that you'd have to normally go for and another tip for your all natural soaps that you're picking up for your all natural dish detergents is what we like to do is once we've gone through a bottle of our, of our all natural soap we like to save the empty bottle and then when we purchase a new bottle of the soap what we like to do is rather than use a concentrated We'll put just a little squirt of the all-natural soup into the empty bottle, and then we'll add some you know, plain water in there, get it about half full, put the cap back on, shake it up, and then what happens is you're left with, you've got this foam that you can just shoot out like that. And um, that way, when you notice that when products are foamed up, their um, cleaning properties are kind of amplified and you use less of the actual soap itself. You know, it saves a lot of the soap, makes it go further, stretches your uh, soap budget dollar. And when it's diluted like this, we like to use it for washing fruits and vegetables, helps strip away, you know, any kind of residues, waxes and stuff from them. And uh, it, could, it also makes a great multi-purpose cleaner of itself. So I hope you'll experiment with some of these eco-friendly tips and uh, help get those toxins out of your home. And I want you for today's action to share with us any of your natural cleaning remedies and tips and tricks and talk about them down below because we wanna share these ideas. We wanna help get the chemicals, all the pollutants, all that junk out of our homes and make our homes a much cleaner and healthier place to be. Peace out.